Hello. Um, just thought in the run-up to the exam, do another little bit about uh, some core four stuff, thinking about uh, what what you need to prepare, some top tips for core four. This is not an exhaustive list. It's not everything that you need to know. It's just uh, a few things that, off the top of my head, might get you those few extra marks in core four. Um, so I think I've got six tips. Uh, tip number one, when you find your vector equation of a, of a line, when you find the, the line between two vectors, I am going to draw a little diagram. That's the line. I want the, the equation, I want the vector between from A to B. Now what you probably know in the question is the vector from O to A and O to B. So the vector from A to B is minus OA plus OB. <coughs> and then your vector equation of your line is at either one of these points, the OA or OB, plus the parameter times this AB that you found. Remember to take one of them away. That's the important tip there. Tip two. Um, you know in that in partial fractions sometimes you get those sneaky ones where one of the brackets on the bottom is squared. So remember the way you deal with that, if you're not already told this, is you have a over x plus 2 plus b over x plus 1, but because it's squared you also need a c over x plus 1 squared. Okay, remember you need the three terms when you split it up into partial fractions. Be aware, b could potentially be 0. C can't and A can't, but B could be zero. Not necessarily, but it might be. Um, okay, I, there's, there's loads we could talk about about differentiation, but um, we'll just mention one thing, and that is remembering that, that whole sine cos stuff. If you're doing any kind of calculus, differentiation, or integration with trig stuff, you must make sure the calculator is in radians. Get it out of degrees and into radians. You must be working in radians. And then, remember if y equals cos x, y equals sine x, I think we know that they will differentiate to the other one. So cos x is going to go to sine, sine x is going to go to cos. One of them goes negative. How do you remember which one? I remember CD music system. It just helps me. CD music system tells me that cos differentiates to minus sine. So there's the minus. Cos differentiates to minus sine, so sine must just go to positive cos. Um, in the same way, when you're doing your integration of cos x and the integral of sine x, they're going to go to the other one. Cos is going to go to sine. Sine is going to go to cos. Again, which, oh, which is it? Which one goes negative? Well, you could remember that it's just the opposite of this one, or Dave remembers SIM card. Sine integrates to minus cos art. And so that's how I remember it. Um, while we're on the topic of this, use your formula booklet. You know, I know in, in some of the earlier exams these are, are next to useless, but in core, core 4 it's, it's really worth having. So, um, let's say we're having to integrate cos squared x. Don't just look down the integration bit and think, oh no, cos squared isn't there, what am I going to do? It is there, look, in the, the answer bit of the differentiation, there is cos squared x. So cos squared x must integrate to minus cot x. And so use the smart, your, your um, formula booklet in a smart way. Okay, use the formula booklet. That's tip 3b. Right, oh man, I'm running out of paper. Um, so, oh, we'll go on the back. Um, top tip number four. Differential equations. <coughs> Remember, with your differential equations, you're going to have something like d theta by dt equals something. You may have an expression over here. You're going to get everything involving theta on this side, everything involving t on this side, and then you're going to end up integrating both sides. The dt is coming up to this side when you do your integration. Remember, you only need one constant of integration when you've finished this. So on your next stage, you've got to put plus c in there somewhere, but you only need to do it once. Top tip number five. 
is for the binomial theorem. Remember, binomial um, in core two, if you're anything like me, you probably use the a plus b to the power of n formula. In core four, you can't. You have to use the one plus formula. Um, so we need to get that to be one plus. Four plus three, x to the three over two. So we start by taking four out as a common factor. Now the 3 over 2 applies to everything in this bracket. So here we've got 4 to the 3 over 2 and 1 plus 3 quarters of x to the 3 over 2. So we've got 4 to the 3 over 2. That is square root of 4 is 2 cubed is 8. And then we can do our whole 1 plus x stuff um, from the formula booklet uh, for that bit. OK, last one, number 6 is, you know, when you're doing those parametric equations, again, in some ways this should be obvious, and I'm sure you do this, but you're going to have x as a function of t, and y as a function of t, or theta, or whatever letter they're using. You're then going to write dx by dt and dy by dt, and if you're not careful, you'll then just think it's that one over that one, because you work left to right. But remember, dy by dx has got y on the top and x on the bottom. So it's dy by dt over dx by dt. Make sure you get them the right way around. That's it. Obviously, that was just a quick few tips um, for core four. Practice those papers, and good luck uh, with the exam. And that's maths.